Welcome to an in-depth tutorial on how to use and set up Trade Sinker, which is, I think right now, one of the best platforms when it comes to trade copying. Um, they're cloud-based, which is great. They're reliable, their support's good, and they're, they're relatively inexpensive. So I've been currently using them for a couple of days. I like them a lot. And there's a couple of things that I ran into that I think all of you should, hence me creating this video. So first and foremost, I wanna talk about their pricing structure. I think it's very important to understand this. There's three tiers here. There's basic, pro, and flex. I'm currently on the pro, but the main difference between the basic and the pro is the amount of connection. So if you're working and what a connection is when it comes to TradeSinker is the amount of properties that you're working with. So like Apex would be like one connection. Uh, top step would be another connection. So number one, it's the amount of connection. So, you know, two versus four. It's the amount of accounts that you can have per connection. So a lot of connections or a lot of prop firms, you can't really trade more than five, 10 accounts. There's Apex that you can trade 20 and a couple of others. But again, if you do need to trade more than 10, you do need to use a pro. And the third biggest difference here is if you are going to be using Project X, which is Top Step X or any type of X, pla X platform, you do have to have the pro model. And hence, another reason why I had to get the $99 per month model. You can always do yearly to save a bit, 10%. Um, but I think to start off and to really see if you like it and if it works with your trading style is just to try it out for seven free days and uh, just go on a monthly, monthly plan. All right, um, let's dive into it. This is what it looks like when you actually buy the account. Um, and, you know, there's, I think this homepage is pretty useless to be honest. But if you go into the connections, tab here. This is where you'll see all your current, current connections. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be connecting my funded next and top step X. Okay. So two different kinds of connections here. It's very simple. You, you click on the light blue button here that says connection. So first what we're going to do is we're going to start off with my funded next accounts. Uh, they are trade of eight. The broker is trade of eight that, fun, that funded next uses. You want to make sure that the environment is demo. Click on continue. Then here, what you'll have is an area where you have to put in your username and your password. And once you click login, it's going to take a couple of seconds. It's going to verify your credentials. And once it verifies them, it should take you back to the connections page. and should tell you that your connection type, so in this case, funded next, has been connected. It's enabled the broker's trade of eight, and there's zero active connections out of 20. Okay? So what you want to do now is you want to click on details. And you want to select the accounts that you want to use in your trade copier. Okay, so I selected four here. Here are the 12 that I passed not too long ago. I'm just waiting for them to be validated. Once they do, I should get 1,200 accounts with funded next. It's time to start making big bank. Going back into connections here. And again, I highly recommend funded next. Um, I do have my affiliate code down below if you want to support the channel. But I highly, highly recommend them before they get too popular. Really cheap. It's a one day pass. and at the time of saying this, you have to make 1.5K and not get into drawdown of 1.3K to pass the account. So it's almost a one-to-one, -one, like a 1.2 to one that you have to do within one trade, one shot, one kill. The cost is between 50 to 70 bucks, depending if you get it on a, on a sale or not. So highly recommend Fund Next. Um, and once you have the connection completed, then you can move into your trade copier, which is copy trading. You click on cockpit. And this is where you can, number one, create the contracts that you'll be trading. So I trade NQU5 and MNQU5, which is the mini and the micros. And what you want to do is you want to click the light blue button, set a leader, select the main account that you'll be trading from, for example, from TradingView. And once you do that, the others will be considered as followers. So I'm going to activate my three followers. And every time I take a trade on my leader, it's going to copy the trades to my followers. Okay. And again, it's fairly simple layout here. Here are some, you know, buys and sells that I did during the day. During the day. But you'll have your, your balance, your average price, your daily PL, and your open PL, and the quantity, the amount of contracts that you're trading, if it's M and Q or N Q. Okay. Um, fairly simple and the last button here that you really have to be cognizant of is flatten all. So when you're trading, always make sure 
When you enter a trade, you validate that it's been copied successfully. And when you exit a trade, make sure that all of your accounts here have been closed off. If they haven't, click on the flatten all button. Or if you want to close your accounts before it hits target profit, click on the red button and it should automatically close your leader and your follower accounts within two seconds. Okay. Now for step number two, if you trade like me, I personally love the Project X type dashboard or trading uh, platform, which is Top Step X. And it's a bit more complicated to have this added in, but, but fairly simple, relatively speaking. So let's connect Top Step X. There's a bit more, there's a couple more steps that you need to take to make sure that this connects correctly. But what you want to do is you want to name your connection like we did before. Click on Project X. And then what we want to do is we want to click on Top Step X. Your username can be found here. It is not the email that you log in with. You can find it in your Top Step dashboard under profile. And right here where it says username, this is where you can find your username. So that's going to be your username. It's not an email. And your API key. So to generate an API key, there's a couple of steps that you need to do. So number one, you have to go to projectx.com. You have to create an account. Once you create an account, you'll go into subscriptions. You'll have to buy a subscription for $29 a month. I know it sucks, but it's worth it. And once you buy the subscription, you can link your account. Okay. And the way you link your account, it's not going to be through here. It's going to be through popstepx.com. Okay. You go to settings, you go to API, which is the very last tab here, and you click on link. There's a couple of steps that you have to follow. You have to log into your Project X account. And once you do that, it creates a link within five seconds. And, and once this is complete, under Project X and linked account, you will see your account with a successful link. I should say connected in green. Once you have this, you go back into Top Step X. And you, what you want to do is you want to generate an API key. So you click on that, add an API key. It's been added. And what I want to do here is I want to show this API key. And then what you want to do is you want to copy it. There is a copy button here, but sometimes it doesn't copy it correctly. You want to copy the whole string of letters here, go back into Trade Syncer, and you want to add your API key into this connection here. Okay. Once you do that, and let me add my username here quickly, click on connect within a couple of seconds that connection should be completed, just like the fun and next connection. The one thing I do want to note is if you get this specific error code where it says Project X connection error, Project X is not available for your plan, reach out to their support. It's that little blue bubble on the bottom right. Just tell them that you're getting this error, send them a screenshot of it, and they will activate that connection account for you if you are in the pro account. Remember. You have to have a pro account to use Project X type brokers in TraderSync. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to open it up. Let's connect one of my accounts to the trade copier. I'm going to go into my trade copier, go into the cockpit. You can see here, Top Step X is one of the accounts that I can trade from. So what I'll do here is I'll click on Change Leader. And I will click on Top Step X. So as of right now, the leader is Top Step X, and all of my followers are funded next. So every time I take a trade in Top Step X, it's going to automatically copy to all of my to all of my Tradeavate based accounts. A couple of very important items to, to, to know as well. So when it comes to using Project X or Top Step X with TradeSinker. Um, it's very important to read this article. It's called Project X Bracket Orders Important Information. And all it's saying is that when it comes to bracket orders, Top Step X handles them a bit differently than Tradeavay. And what I want you to get out of this is when it comes to global risk settings, what this article is saying is this may cause issues if your accounts are configured a specific way. This should be optimally set up is your Top Step X leader account should be the only account that should be in TradeSinker. You can have followers in Top Step X using their own 
copy system, but just make sure that these followers aren't in your uh, trade sinker. And you can have global or your global resettings on and you can use them and there shouldn't be any issues. So very important. Highly recommend reading this article so you guys understand how this works, but that's the biggest thing is only have your, your leader account copy in if you want to use global resetting. Okay. And other than that, that's really it when it comes to this platform. There's some other features like journaling and stuff. If you want to use them for a calendar uh, on what's upcoming I, you know, or, or prop firm deals. They also have a page here. But all in all, the two tabs that I use is connections and, and, and the copy trader cockpit. So, uh, you know, without further ado, hope, hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully this is going to speed up the curve of actually connecting into TradeSinker. Um, I definitely hit some roadblocks while doing this and just wanted to share some knowledge, guys. So, and I guess to close it off, if you guys are looking for a small discount, you should be able to find one in the, in the description below this video for TradeSinker and other prompt firms. And I guess without further ado, happy trading and talk soon. Bye for now.